Hey guys, you're watching Keeping It Real with Vasavi, and today's question comes from Edith. Edith writes, Hey Vasavi, I love your Keeping It Real videos. I love your straight and no frills approach. Thanks. My question is this I'm about to have a baby in April. Aw. I'm really worried that my husband and I are gonna lose our connection. And because of everything that goes along with having a baby, I'm terrified that I'm gonna neglect him. So how do I prioritize my marriage and make sure that I don't neglect my partner? So Edith, Edith, first of all, congratulations for even thinking about this because oftentimes as with any major life event and transition, we get so caught up with what's happening in the moment that we tend to lose sight of our relationships and just the, the bigger picture of our life. So. I think it's really great that you're even looking at what you need to do to make sure that you still maintain and nurture your relationship with your husband and ultimately with yourself. So first thing is keep it real with your husband, right? Talk about this with your husband. If this is an area of concern, you need to have this dialogue with him and just really tell him, you know, honey, I'm afraid, I'm worried, I'm terrified, I'm scared that you and I are gonna lose our connection. The first thing you wanna do is just communicate it with him. Anything can be handled with communication, with healthy communication. Um, get him on the same page. And my hunch is that he's probably worried about the same thing too. Think about it. He's gonna maybe lose his wife to a little baby. It happens and it's natural. But a lot is gonna be going on with your new baby, right? There's gonna be sleepless nights, there's gonna be vomit, there's gonna be poop, and you're gonna be totally consumed with taking care of this little child as is as natural and as you should be, right? But you can't control everything. However, you can control having that conversation with your husband and really planning out what do you want your relationship to look like? Because guess what? It's never gonna be the same again once you have your beautiful baby. So when you talk about it with your husband, maybe one of the suggestions that I have, I actually recently told this to my sister who just had her baby is, you know, plan out one or two things that you and your husband can commit to doing, right? Maybe it's a date night every other week. Maybe it's when he comes home from work or when you come home from work that you guys don't automatically start going into baby talk. And then the first five minutes of your conversation is just about connecting with one another. Honey, how are you doing? Have you eaten? How was your day? What do you need? Do you need a massage? You know, whatever. But just, it just kind of sets the tone like, okay, I'm still connecting to you adult to adult. That's just one of the things that you can think of doing. And one of the things that I know my sister's doing with her husband is, you know, twice a day she'll text him and she'll just say, I'm thinking of you. I miss you. Cause that's just to keep that conversation going via text, via email, Facebook message. But it's just to keep nurturing that relationship. Listen, it's a huge life event and it's, and it's okay if stuff happens. But I think because you're so aware that this is possible, that you could start to lose that connection and get really overwhelmed. I think it's great that you're even thinking about it and you're willing to do something about it. And listen, it may not go as definitely planned, right? You guys might come into doing two date nights a month and it may not happen, but it's okay. Just keep on keeping on and just keep it moving and just make sure that you're in dialogue and, and it's something that you don't just put to the side because your relationship with your husband, with yourself, you know, just your relationships in life, they matter, okay? so. If you enjoyed today's Keeping a Real video, make sure you pay it forward to someone that you think today needed the Keeping a Real wisdom that you just heard. And if you want more Keeping a Real videos, go to my website at vasavikumar.com. They're free, they're weekly, they come straight to your inbox. And until next time, keep it real.